Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, so I wanted to explore some more poetry uh, that I've encountered, especially from LGBTQA poets. I mentioned uh, uh, throughout the past couple weeks, the past several weeks, um, that I've been uh, exploring more poets in this period of pride, uh, both outside of June, um, starting in early May, and extending into the end of July, which is where we're at. Uh, I won't be doing any more um, of, uh, well, I won't be seeking out LGBTQA poets, like, like aggressively, um, but I will talk about them when I encounter them through my natural poetry searches. Um, I just wanted to take this period to highlight um, LGBTQA poets, talk about some of the themes that they, that's in their poetry, uh, and highlight the beautiful poetry that I found. And I have found quite a quite a good amount of poetry uh, from a number of poets. And I do recommend that you sit, you uh, you look at the, the past couple poems that I've look, uh, that I've done for this channel, as I've, I I feel they are top notch. And today is no different. Uh, I am talking about a poem that focuses on oppressed farm life. I am referring to Sheep by Judy Gron. For those who don't know, Judy Gron is a is a California poet, um, although she I believe she grew up in Chicago. Um, she has been writing poetry since uh, the 60s and 70s uh, and has continued to do so today. Uh, she's written a, a nonfiction, fictional novels, uh, books of poetry, and, and she also does academic-based stuff uh, as well. Um, I believe she's known for like writing about metaphoric theory, which is the idea that modern culture traces its roots in the minstrel rights of of our ancestral ancestor cultures. Which I don't know how much of that is true, but that sounds like a very interesting theory. Um, and that feminism that you see there, which she doesn't say is outright feminism, uh, it still shows up in, in her in her work. I've read a number of her poems that were um, that were fem or, or feminist or had feminist leanings, um, or maybe just talking about the need for an egalitarian society. Um, that I, I guess that's up for debate and speculation there. Um, but yeah, a very, very interesting author whose poetry stood out to me, and that's why I'm talking about it today. Uh, she's also a lesbian and has been uh, talked about as one of the best uh, LGBT lesbian authors um, out there, uh, which I think is, is pretty fascinating as well. And so without further ado, let's talk about Sheep. I will read it, do a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. Sheep. The first four leaders had broken knees. The four old dams had broken knees. The flock would start to run, then freeze. The first floor leaders had broken knees. Why is the flock so docile? asked the hawk. Yes, why is the flock so docile? laughed the dog. The shepherd's mallet is in his hand. The shepherd's hand is on the land. The flock will start to run, then freeze. The four old dams have broken knees, the dog explained. The hawk exclaimed, the shepherd leads an easy life. I know, I know, cried the shepherd's wife. He dresses me out in a narrow skirt and leaves me home to clean his dirt. Whenever I try to run, I freeze. All the old dams have broken knees. Well, I'm so glad he doesn't dare to bring his breaking power to bear on me, said the hawk, flying into the sun, while the dog warned in his dog run, Hawk, the shepherd has brought a gun. Why is the hawk so docile, asked the flock. He fell to the ground in a feathery breeze. He lies in a dumb lump under the trees. We'd believe we'd rather have broken knees than lose our blood and suddenly freeze like him. But the oldest dam gave her leg a lick and said, some die slow and some die quick. A few run away and the rest crawl, but the shepherd never dies at all. Damn his soul. I'd will my wool to the shepherd's wife if she could change the shepherd's life. But I myself would bring him low if only, only I knew how. 
So that was Sheep by Judy Gron. In terms of analysis, it's a very interesting uh, allegorical or metaphorical poem. I forget the, the real difference between those two terms, but uh, that's what we see here. Like on the surface, th there's a story here. Uh, the narrative is uh, that the narrator is just talking about how the uh, like the four old dams have broken these. So the 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 sheep's the sheep um, the 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 lady sheep like they have broken knees. Like maybe there hasn't been an attempt for them to leave. Um, there's a hawk in this story that is very um, uh, like careless, carefree that doesn't really pay attention to what's happening or doesn't care and just assumes that their freedom is a given. Uh, there's a dog that um, that. Uh, is also free, but I think is only free as long as they are loyal to the to the shepherd. And then there's also the shepherd's wife, uh, who claims that she is not so free as well. Like it, it's so bad that she has to, uh, or he leaves her home to clean his dirt. Uh, doesn't sound like a good life. The hawk eventually tries to fly away, but then gets shot and and killed by the uh, the shepherd uh, and the um, the. Uh, the sheep kind of stick to their life. They don't really try to do anything else, but the, the narrator says they'd will their wool to the shepherd's wife if she would do something, and if I knew how, I would also try to do something. So um, really highlighting the oppression that these animals feel from the shepherd. And so that's what's on the surface, but it's, it's all purely allegorical. Like this is all meant to show like the, the oppression that, that various people feel in, in life like the 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 four old dams showing that like the shepherd represents maybe the patriarchy and in, in society and the old dams are the women um who are constantly having their knees broken or their rights stripped away so that they can't go out and do anything that they want to do and then there's the hawk who might be kind of like a maybe a, a carefree minority figure um, who thinks that they're above this all, but eventually the shepherd, this patriarchal system that, that probably relies on nationalism or fascism, is going to come to claim the hawk too. Like, it's the, it's the joke that you see on Twitter, like, I never thought the face-eating cheetahs would eat my face. But yes, they, they will come for them all because that's the nature of the fascist system. It eats everybody alive until there's only one person left. And then that one person is going to target themselves because fascism relies always on an outsider and it can't sustain itself otherwise. I don't think she's going, like, Gran is going so far to say, like, fascism outright. But the oppressive systems in place... Are, are clear in this story. Um, like, you can't escape from it because your knees are broken, your rights are taken away. Um, and one thing, one line that stands out to me in particular is when, uh, when the oldest dam says, but the oldest dam gave her leg a lick and said, some die slow and some die quick. A few run away and the rest crawl. And that, that really, that's really interesting to me because, um, like, and she says that after the hawk dies, like the hawk died pretty quick being shot to death. Uh, but the old dams, you could argue, the, the shepherd's wife are dying a very slow death, having everything taken away from them, having their knees taken out from under them. Like they might not be like di actively dying, but they are dying slow deaths, um, having everything taken away from them. I think it's really interesting how uh, Gron writes his poem. The lines are really are really challenging and really, really thought-provoking. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Sheep by Judy Gron, a pretty quality poem that is worth exploring, as well as uh, some of the other poetry that Judy Gron, Gron has written. I will link to this poem in the description so that you can find it, read it, let me know what, you, what your thoughts are in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can know about this poem and this author, as well as try to attempt some Poetry Thursday themselves so we can get, get it going around booktube. And until then, I wish you the best of luck and your weird and sheep-like travels. Farewell.